Let's imagine we have a lot of fish in an aquarium. They're different shapes, colors, and lengths. So we can set up a fish class with instance variables specific to each fish in the tank. But what if we need information that is shared between the fish? In that case, we keep track of this type of information using something called a static variable. A static variable is a variable defined in a class that stores a shared value across all instances of the class. When is a static variable useful or necessary? If you need to keep track of information over all instances, that is for every object, then it may be necessary. Let's go back to our aquarium. We have information about this aquarium that is related to each individual fish, like length and color. Each value is unique to a particular fish. Those are instance variables. We also have information that is related to all the fish, not unique to each individual. For example, water temperature, number of fish, and last fish added. This information should be stored in static variables. Let's look at the number of fish. This variable called numfish holds the total number of fish added to the aquarium. Let's create a static variable by writing static, then add the data type, then the name of the variable numfish and set it to a value. Now, in any part of our fish class, we can modify this numfish variable. In our case, we can modify numfish in our constructor by incrementing by one. That way, whenever a new fish is created, numfish is increased by one. Even though they're called static variables, they can be changed. We now have the ability to encapsulate data within each object, like a fish, and also be able to store data at the class level as well.